Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. What I have for you in this video is a review of the Neutrogena Sensitive Skin Liquid Face Sunscreen. With mature skin or really any skin, sun protection is a must, especially now that we're into the summer months. What do I look for when I'm looking for a sunscreen? Well, first of all, there's two types of sunscreens. There are chemical sunscreens and there are mineral sunscreens. It's important when you're looking for a sunscreen to find one that is made with insoluble sunscreen filters in it. Insoluble sunscreen filters do not penetrate into the skin, and that is due to their large particle sizes, therefore they cannot absorb into your body. Neutrogena Sensitive Skin Liquid Face Sunscreen contains titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. Both of those are mineral sunscreens. Neutrogena also has other sunscreen products that do contain chemical sunscreen filters in them. These chemicals are soluble sunscreen filters and they are made with smaller particles, therefore they can absorb into your body. The worst of these chemical sunscreen active ingredients is the oxybenzone. Oxybenzone is readily absorbed into the skin. It can act as a hormone disruptor, an endocrine disruptor. It can increase the risk of breast cancer, endometriosis, as well as being a skin irritant. Oxybenzo is also harmful to aquatic life and is also responsible for coral reef bleaching. There's also octinoxate, which is also readily absorbed into the skin. Octinoxate is also shown to have effects on the metabolic system. It also affects thyroid hormone production. Octinoxate also can cause allergic reactions after exposed to ultraviolet light. Homosalate is another one that also readily absorbs into the skin. Homosalate can disrupt the hormones and produces a toxic breakdown of byproducts over time. Salate is actually an organic sunscreen filter. Octosiliate absorbs into the skin 10 times more than 0.5 nanograms per milliliter. This is way past the FDA's cutoff for systematic exposure. Octosilate has also been related to allergic contact dermatitis. There's also the endocrine effects. That's where it weakly binds to the estrogen receptor. Octocrylene is another one that absorbs into the skin. This one absorbs 14 times faster than the FDA's cutoff for systematic exposure. Octocrylene causes relatively high rates of skin allergy and is often contaminated with a known carcinogen known as benzophenone. Then we have avobenzo. Avobenzo is another organic filter, but it has to be paired with other ingredients that act as stabilizer to prevent it from breaking down in the sun. Avobenzo by itself is not stable. Breakdown products of avobenzo can cause allergic reactions and it also disrupts the endocrine system. Avobenzo has been shown to block the effects of testosterone in cellular studies. The mineral UV filters, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide are only harmful if inhaled. So that is just a little breakdown of the chemicals that are put in some sunscreens and that is why I will not use anything but mineral sunscreen. Okay, now let's get into this product. I'm gonna to read to you what it says on the box. Neutrogena Sensitive Skin Face Liquid Sunscreen. Broad Spectrum SPF 50, which is really good. It's 100% naturally sourced sunscreen ingredients. It says it layers invisibly under makeup. Now that's the part we're gonna find out next. I'm gonna see if it leaves a white cast and how it looks underneath my foundation and if I can wear it underneath my foundation on a day-to-day -day basis as well as wear it alone. It goes on to say ultra light liquid formula water resistant 80 minutes. It has the pure screen broad spectrum UVA UVB, which is the titanium dioxide and the zinc oxide. On the back it says, superior broad spectrum UVA UVB protection with pure screen, a blend of 100% naturally sourced sunscreen, ideal for sensitive skin. Water light texture spreads easily over skin, absorbing instantly for an invisible weightless feel that works beautifully alone or under makeup and moisturize. It says it's hypoallergenic, non-comedogenic, oil-free, fragrance for uses. Helps prevent sunburn if used as directed with other sun protection measures. First five ingredients, of course, we start with the active ingredients. The first one is titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. So that's what the product has the most of. And then we have water, and then we have an alkyl benzoate, dimethicone, and tricyloxane. So those are the first five ingredients. So this product has mostly sunscreen ingredients in it. The other two are silicone. Okay, time to open this up and give us a try. Okay, here it is out of the package. Before I start applying the liquid sunscreen, the first thing that I did was I put on some of this Infinite Aloe Skincare. 
And the next thing I did was I applied a thin layer of Tatcha Prime a little closer. And here we have it. So I'm going to open this lid and I'm going to go ahead and apply some to my fingers. It is very, very liquidy, as you can see. I can't smell really anything. Maybe just a very, very slight suntan lotion smell, but really super light. All right, let's get this applied. It said to keep it out of the eye area, so I'm going to avoid my eye area and just get everything else around it. It is applying a little bit thin and kind of sheer, but of course this is a suntan lotion. It's not a foundation or anything, so that is to be expected. It goes on kind of liquidy, but then it feels powdery afterwards. It feels like it's going over the primer and the moisturizer pretty well. Now I'm going to take a little bit more and put it on my ears and my neck. Bring it right down here. It looks like it is drying down. I don't see too much more of the white cast. I'm going to continue working it into my skin. So looking at this right now, it looks like it dried down absolutely perfectly. I really feel like my foundation is going to go on just beautifully and eliminate any rest of any white cast that there might be left over. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to put some foundation over the top of this and just see how that looks and how it dries down and the finish that it gives. The foundation that I'm going to use is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. Okay, I'm going to grab my Bobbi Brown foundation brush and let's see how this goes on. It's going on really well. It's just gliding right on my face. Come up close and do my neck. And I'll bring it down here a little bit to make everything match and blend in. The sunscreen did dry down to a nice soft powdery finish. It left my skin feeling really soft and of course, as you saw when I put on the foundation, I had no problem at all. The real test is going to be outside. So I'm going to go outside and let's see what it looks like out I'm outside. There. And from what I can see, everything looks really good. It looks like it dried down. I don't see a white cast. It looks like the foundation went over the sunscreen with no problem. say. My opinion of this sunscreen is really, really good. It's doing everything that I want it to do. You can't even tell that it, I have sunscreen on under my makeup. And when I go in the house and put on the rest of my makeup, I'm sure you won't even be able to tell that I'm wearing sunscreen underneath my it's makeup. It's looking like this Neutrogena is going to be a winner for me. All right, time to go back in the house. I am back in the house and I put on the rest of my makeup. My makeup looks just the same as if I had no sunscreen underneath the foundation. And that is what I'm really super impressed with. That is what I wanted in a facial sunscreen. I needed something that wouldn't leave a white cast that would go okay underneath my makeup and protect me from UVA and UVB sunscreen. This Neutrogena Sensitive Skin Face Sunscreen is absolutely awesome. It does everything I want it to do. It's a mineral sunscreen. I don't have to worry about the ingredients soaking into my skin and disrupting my hormones. I can wear this on a day-to-day -day basis alone or under my makeup. And that to me is just absolutely fantastic. Now let's talk about the price of this. It normally retails at $12.99. But at the Neutrogena website, I got this for $7 on sale. And I also got free shipping. I couldn't find this at any of the drugstores. I had to order this from the Neutrogena website. As far as this being a good value, in this bottle, it normally costs $12.99. You get 1.4 fluid ounces in it. Compared to a lot of the higher end facial sunscreens, I feel that this is a really good bargain. So that is my review on the Neutrogena Sensitive Skin Facial Sunscreen. I am truly impressed with this product. This is something I can use on a day-to-day -day basis. I feel good about what's going on my face and I don't have to worry about anything penetrating into my skin. Okay, so that will wrap up this video. You guys all have a really good rest of your day. You take care. Bye-bye.